Hello Pokemon fans, this is Pro Pokenew back today to bring you another battle. It will be a PU match today against a person by the name of Starbay. I had this on my stream. It was a pretty cool match that it, and I thought it would be very nice to bring to this channel because, you know, battles, content, all that good stuff, content's good. Anyways, this is a team literally built around this little man right here. Can you see that? I have no idea. Can you see this? No, you cannot. I am waving my cursor rampantly, and you cannot see it circling. If you can, I'm an idiot. But, OBS is not showing it, neither am I. It's built around Yanma. Literally, I wanted to use Yanma. I'm like, let's build a team around. So I've been working on this team for quite a while. That is just a Life Orb Yanma. It's a very good late game sweeper if you've got the enemy team in a position where Speed Boost is just going to let you sweep right through them. Um, obviously, Yanma cannot even take any type of non-resisted priority, even Mach Punch for a lot of God friends and so. At a certain level. At a certain level, obviously. But that is a Pikachu Bell that you cannot see. That is the uh, one glitched out picture. That is a Life Orb Swana. Standard uh, hazards, I guess. I guess it's just standard setup, Pile of Swine. That is an Assault Vest Dust Noir. And that is a Floet. I thought about, I was trying to look for a Fighting Resist, um, but also just a Special Defensive Poke. And I decided to give... Uh, flow at a chance, and it actually works out very well. It's got very good stats. With the Eevee Light, it's, it could do the exact same thing that Florge does in UU. The only difference is Floet relies on Eevee Light, but even with the Eevee Light knocked off, it has a very respectable special defense stat and special attack stat. The defense is okay, but that's what Eevee Light's there for, but it actually is a very good poke. If you're looking for something that runs like Florge, it does the job. But anyways, my opponent's team is quite literally the most rain team you're gonna find. He has three... Swift Swim pokes in the form of Bayertic, uh, Golduck, and Armaldo. On top of that, he's got the Raichu for the Lightning Rod to bait the electric attacks. And then he's got the Drift Blim. And I'm assuming the Bibber all both set up Rain Dance. Um, I'm saying assuming even though I already know. But anyways, <laughs> um, the key here is to try and basically kill him when the rain's done. Or just try and survive the onslaught of rain because it's going to be one hell of a downpour. And I don't see any cats and dogs, I just see polar bears and ducks. And an electric mouse. But either way, I figured the best that I could do is just lead off with Pikachu Bell, threaten out the water types. He is going to lead off with the Bibarel. Now I know he's not going to stay him, so I'm just going to go for the knockoff, get whatever comes in. Turns out I get the Raichu. This does a lot of damage. This is why Ash did not evolve as Pikachu. Actually, he's just a moron. But either way, I do get the Raichu on the switch. I'm going to go into Pilot Swine. I can take most hits. He actually has a goal for Focus Blast. It's a two hit KO. That hurts. But now he is going to switch out to preserve the Raichu. He's going to go into his Bibarel. I just go for the Ice Shard just in case. I need to keep that. I need to keep Pilot Swine around for now. He is going to go for the Rain Dance as I end up going for Earthquake and killing the Bibarel, which surprised me, which made me think maybe he's. Excuse me, he's um, Damp Rock or something. I don't know what he had. Maybe a Focus Sash, but regardless, I think it turned out to be Focus Sash. But at this point, he has Golduck, and Golduck in the Rain is extremely threatening. So I'm actually going to leave. Um, Pilot Swan in there, so Swana does not take this damage. I didn't know Swana was actually going to take that damage, but I figured I want Swana to come in. It's got Hurricane. I'll just abuse the fact that Hurricane's not going to miss, and I'll take as little unnecessary damage on Swana as possible, but it turns out I can't kill with Hurricane either, which really sucks, because Swana was going to be the thing that was going to be nice for this rain team when they set up the rain, because I got Stab Water, and I've got 100% accurate Hurricanes, but now I can go into Dustamore. I have the Shadow Sneak. He is going to go into Raichu to sack it off. Um... Assume the Raichu is holding Thunders, but at this point he knows that I'm not going to be going for Electric Attacks. I could just go for Knock Off to kill it with the Switch. Now he goes in Drift Blim. I actually go for the Ice Punch on the off chance he was going to be some weird weakness policy setup. Now this was dangerous as well, because if he went for will o when he was weakness policy, that would have been horrific. But I, actually, no, he can do it still because the Cast Claus doesn't do it. But regardless, I go into Floet now. I don't, I honestly didn't have anything else that wanted to get burned. So I kind of just left them in there. I could have had Floet burn, but I wanted to keep it as healthy as possible. He's going to go for the Ice Cold Crash and miss. The rain does wear out. I think it was a Focus Sash variant on the Bibarel. So I'm going to go for Toxic. This is good because Beartic now can't set up for Swords Dance in the rain. But it is going to set up a Swords Dance anyways. I'm going, well, maybe I can get away with a Wish. I should have gone for Moonblast there. Um, but I thought maybe I can live a plus two. And it doesn't uh, it doesn't pay off. But he is Life Orb. Which means that Beartic can only do so much with Aqua Jet. The idea here is to get rid of all the priority on his team. Before I bring in Yanma. So he is going to one-shot my Pikachu Bell with an Aqua Jet. That was just to confirm it. But it's also just a Waste Toxic plus Life Orb. But now I can go into Dustwar, who has the priority. Um, but I'm actually going to go for Pursuit. I'm going to take this damage. The reason why I go for Pursuit is, again, I need to make sure that nothing is left on his team with priority. And Beartic can slam the crap out of my Yanma. 
At this point, it's all setting up for a Yam every week. So I have to get rid of Drift Blim. Almost kills it with a Shadow Sneak. Because Dustwater is a monster. He goes for Rain Dance. Arguably, this could have been a mistake, but he does have Aftermath. So it's not as much of a mistake. If he didn't have Aftermath, it could have been bad. Because, um, as you'll see here, he can't actually kill me with an X-Scissor. So it's a good thing he got that damage off. Then again, if he had gone for the Hex... Hex plus Aftermath would have put me in range where Armaldo would have killed, and I wouldn't have been able to win with Yanma. So a bit of an oversight, maybe not knowing the damage calculation. Also, if he was running knockoff on his Armaldo, that would have been cool, but I'm thinking at this point, um, I don't see an item. He could be Choice Bandit. But Yanma's going to have to come in. Luckily for me, he's not... Okay, first of all, he's not Choice Bandit. Die. <laughs> um, luckily for me, I know Yanma can get really quick. I get the crit. I don't think the crit mattered. I think we calculated it. That's why I didn't go for Bug Buzz. Also, I think... Buzz wouldn't have killed. But either way, I had to go for a flinch or a crit or something like that. But at this point, plus three Yanma. I, apparently, I was quicker than Golduck at plus two. I didn't want to take the risk. I went for plus three. And at this point, I can finish him off with a Bug Buzz. That's exactly what the team is meant to do. It's been working very well for me. I enjoyed it. And the rain team that could have kicked my ass was beaten by a little flying dragonfly. Because, of course, there are other dragonflies in the world that don't fly. Obviously, I'm a little nuts today. But don't worry about it. That was an excellent match, Starmay. Comment, rate, and subscribe, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this battle. I just realized this, guy, this guy's name is Starmay. Sounds like Star Me. Just the eye and the ear flipped. He's running a rain team. Huh. Have an excellent day.